What's up, fellas? It's Mark Parson, cornerback pro, former NFL cornerback. All right, so we got Jalen Mills and Darby of the Philadelphia Eagles going against T. Wild Hilton in the Colts. So we're going to get right into it. Make sure you guys email me at cornerbackpro at gmail.com if you have any questions. Definitely get the one-on-one -on -one mastery. Why? Because every cornerback and safety in the whole universe should have it. It will improve. You will improve your skills. Bottom line. All right, so let's watch. We're up at the top. All right, so we got Jalen Mills. So one thing already, one thing I will say, be careful, guys. Like, if, let's say you change your mind. So let's say you're up here, you got a tight split. You're up here, and you change your mind at the last second or some emotions or whatever. Make sure you, you hustle to get back. You don't want to get caught right here backpedaling. So then it almost makes you, like, useless in the play. Like, um, you won't be able to do your read steps. You won't be able to read what you need to read. You wanna, you may need to open up, like bail out of there and get back to your spot. You don't wanna get caught, like midway. You know what I mean? So just be mindful. He gets back there and does what he needs to do. I'm just giving you young guys, uh, something I learned. Now, <clears throat> this has nothing to do with Jalen Mills or Darby, or T. Y. Hilton right here. But I will say this: I noticed this when I first watched this. The punt return, yo. It, this is the fastest way to get cussed out by a coach at the next level. Guys, we got to catch him. Now, he gets lucky because it bounces back, but you got to you you got to go catch every single punt, all right? If you're a punt returner, get to every punt. Call fair catch because it's, this game, as you get to the higher levels, and shoot, even in high school, yo, field position is key. So if you don't want to get cussed out by your coach, make sure you catch every single punt. Don't let it touch the ground. Get to it. All right, so we're at the bottom. Um, one thing that I noticed about uh, Jalen Mills, Jalen Mills has excellent feet. I noticed that, man. Um, one thing, and the, they don't even ball, they don't even throw the ball over here. But I want to show you something because uh, later on in this film, you're gonna see, you know, get a few penalties, and I think it comes from the very beginning. You know how I roll. Like I'm looking at everything. All right, so he stays. Some plays he'll stay square, and sometimes he'll open up the gate, right? So let's watch it right here. Another thing, I noticed that he likes to play a couple yards off the line of scrimmage, which I don't think that's a good thing for us because the receivers like that. They got more space to move with. They got more space. to. They like having more space, all right? And if you know, it's one thing if a guy's playing off the ball, so sometimes that happens. You got to make sure your eyes are disciplined on his waist. Right, you gotta stay square as long as possible. You gotta get your feet moving. You need a, some type of technique. Um, obviously, the more passive techniques will work um, better for you. But I just don't like it. All right, just talking about how much space we're giving them. So we want to be on the line of scrimmage. All right. So watch this. Watch this press. So this is what I was talking about. We don't want to create that habit where we open a gate. On the one play, he stays square. Yo, it looked nice. And I'm going to show that to you. I just want to show you that. And it's just a running play. We we don't want to form those habits. Yo, watch how nice this break was by Darby. So it's a three. You know, we can read the three. Um, We're playing outside shade. Look how tight this split is. So what routes could he run from this? He could run an under. He could run an over. He could run a post like an NCAA. If you don't know what that is, make sure you look up the concepts, route concepts. And then outside, so he can run an outside breaking route. So we want to be outside shade. We're playing off we're right here. Watch out. Let's read the quarterback first. One, two, three. Now let's watch Darby. Watch how quick his break is. And this is this is the difference maker. Look, he's all over that. So the difference maker is, you, you see, NFL quarterbacks with their strong arms. So just letting y'all know, man, this ain't no joke. <laughs> Cause that was a wonderful break. Three step drop, break, and uh quarterback luck still uh fits that in there, man. I'm telling you, the next level, next level stuff. Alright, so this is the play that I was talking about. So again, we want to be on the line of scrimmage. Why? So now I can explain it even better to you. Check this out. Let's see where he is right here. And this is the one where he actually, yo, he stays square on this play. So let's watch it. Bam. 
Now they give us a penalty at the end. And I'm gonna show you what I think we could work on. You notice too, I Hilton did that little Madden. You you guys play Madden where the receiver slows up, so the DB's guarding him. He slows up and then <laughs> tries to get either PI or catch the ball. I used to do that when I was playing with Madden. So check this out. So he stays square right here. Fall step. Hey, I teach fall steps. So I don't care about that. But watch this. All right. Line of scrimmage. Matter of fact. So right here. Line of scrimmage right here. We're still, we have contact after five yards. So technically, they could have threw the flag right here. Because you're in the NFL, you're not allowed to touch the dude after five yards like that. Especially like reroute or, or, or jam or, you know, any really um, thing getting in their way, you're not allowed to do. So they could have caught a flag right here. The thing is, we're doing a soft shoe technique where you're inching back. And if we would have been on the line of scrimmage and did that, it would have been perfect. We would have been within five yards. So my goal for you guys is to, to go with NFL rules. I don't care if you're playing youth or high school ball or college because that's going to make you a better cornerback. All right. Um, so that's the first thing. And then, so again, line up on the line of scrimmage because if you soft shoot from here, you're already beyond five yards, right? Now, we get right here, and he does a great job on this by staying square. Remember, don't take more than three steps back on that soft shoot. All right. And I, I don't know. It's hard to count, but he may have not. He may have just, I just want to put that out as a reminder. Now, and I'm gonna let the replay show. When you're when you're pressing a guy, he should never um, get closer to you than your arm's length. So if you stand up next to me, you put your arms out, and you're touching my shoulders, right? That's your arm's length. So in your press, you can't let a receiver get into your your base of your chest or into your body because then they can pull. You can be off balance, and you're, you're gonna see right here. You see how he got in his chest? So when he got in his chest, he was able to kind of just get me off balance for that slight second. Now you're going to see, you're like, Coach, man, that was a good play, though. Look at the hands. So one thing, you see the hands grabbing, he gets caught. He gets called, a, he gets a P.I. like at least four times, which happens. Yo, trust me, I got P.I.s all the time. <laughs> you know, it, that's happened when, you, when you're battling. But one thing that can help us, what I've learned, is to wear, when we're training, when we're practicing, put on some boxing gloves. Right, so we're not going out there to punch guys, and I'm not talking about in the game, fellas. I'm talking about like one on ones, like maybe once a week, or maybe even practice at times. Maybe have a period because it forces you not to be able to. Uh, it forces you not to be able to um, grab. All right, so that's one thing that I learned. So we put on some boxing gloves, go out there, and you can't grab. So now you gotta make sure that you make it plays without being able to grab, and then that obviously makes you better. It's like handicapping yourself. And it makes you better for uh, game purposes. But um, everything else looks good, man. So right here, again, I'll be on that line of scrimmage. Especially if the receiver's on the ball. If the receiver's on the ball, yo, get up in there, man. You Now you can do different techniques. You can soft shoot, and you can do strike and get back in balance. And you can possibly jump jams. But if we do the same thing over and over again, we're doing the same technique over and over again. They're going to get a feel for it. Now they're going to be more confident, and they're going to get into it. Uh, immediately get into their route. So right here, he makes a play. But and the, and the thing is, and I tell you guys all the time, just because we make a play doesn't mean we're doing the technique correctly, right? This wasn't a great ball. And, I, and I'll tell you a team that's really good, y'all, and I talked about it before. The connection between A.B. and ben, Big Ben was crazy. Like that back shoulder fade, Back show the little hits. If you open the gate on those guys, it's not happening. They're going to eat. So just know that. Just know that. Now watch how good his feet, uh, Jalen Mills' feet are. And they actually gave uh, T.Y. Hilton the, the uh, penalty. So this is just, like I was telling you, he has really good feet. So uh, even with the push-off, when he get when uh, T.Y. Hilton pushes him off, he's still able to get in there, get out of that break. That's that's impressive, man. CP, the P.I. on Hilton.
It's the it's the little things, fellas, that uh we can improve on. So we're right here. So we you saw that? So they call another PI. But it starts it starts from the beginning. So we're on the line of scrimmage. So I great job, we're on the line of scrimmage. Watch this. Look at this. We don't want to get into the habit of doing this. And let's say you like, all right, well, T coach, T. Y. Hilton, he's kind of we want to make sure we protect ourselves and not get, you know, get beat deep because it's we're we're only up by four points. Okay, I get it. You know what you do? You play outside shade on them. So basically, outside some form of outside leverage, right? And you funnel him in. So most likely it'll be a harder throw for the quarterback because we got a free safety back here, right? So we got a free. Not saying you're gonna open the gate outside, like you open the gate and you let him run inside. No, you you stick to your techniques. You just outside leverage them. So if he does want to do outside release, you can jam the crap out of him. And if he does, if he gives up on it, goes inside release, you on him just like regular. And now you got a little help. So the quarterback may think, you know, he may think twice before letting this ball go. And then your free your free is there. So. But we can't just open up the gate because then we're not disrupting anything. And, they, and this, it's almost like they're just going for the P.I. They're like, we're just going to throw it up because he's struggling right now with the ball skills. So he does grab him. Just watch it. You see, you guys see what I'm saying, though? When we just open up, it's literally just like op just standing next to him and running with him, which we don't want to do. Be careful with your, your ankle. He almost... So, but that's where he's grabbing right there. See that? This is a tough play to guard. Excellent job by Darby. Excellent job. But, uh, let's watch it. All right, so we got a super tight split. And that's a good throw. Yo, that's a good throw, though. So that was good coverage, man. Just be mindful of where you are on the field. Um, in review, fellas, in review, make sure that when we are pressing a guy, make sure that we are in the line of scrimmage. So you're not going to be offside, but you're going to be on the line of scrimmage, man. You don't want to be two yards off the line of scrimmage. And then if you use a soft shoe technique, you shoot. You be beyond five yards, which technically is illegal in the NFL. My goal for you guys is to learn NFL rules. If you get good at the NFL rules where they let – they don't even let you hit guys anymore. But uh, when it comes to coverage, if you get good at NFL rules, you'll be able to cover anybody in youth, high school, or college, right? And just know your techniques, obviously. You don't want to do the same technique every time. So this this game, for the most part, is almost like I saw the same inch back soft shoot technique every time, which I think is dangerous because now cats watch you on film. They're like, okay, I know what he's going to do. And then be you, you're in a game guarding a guy the whole game. And they're like, oh, okay, I know what he's going to do. So now I'm more confident, right? I can, ah, all right? So make sure you know the techniques. Now that's what, that's one of the biggest things I provide for you guys. Um, obviously, inspiration, motivation, knowledge on this type of stuff. But, yo, put some techniques in your tool belt. So now you can have more confidence. You can keep him go, uh, guessing, which slows the fast jokers down. And, um... What else? Make sure the guy doesn't get into your body, too, because then they can pull, they can grab you. They'll grab your jersey and yank you this way, all right? Make sure you don't look back too early, too. Get in their hip pocket, even if, it, if it's outside outside or inside. Either way, don't look back until you get in their hip pocket. And, oh, and then if you are a person who's grabbing too much, because we all grab, you just don't want to get caught for it, right? Um, but if you're a person who's getting caught, called PI, you're getting a lot of PIs, possibly because you're grabbing and when you're trying to find the ball, yo, just practice with some boxing gloves on. You won't be able to grab the guy. So you got to focus on improving the other skills, which is, you know, obviously your feet, finding the ball, and um, hand placement. All right? So um, I'm proud of you guys. Let's keep working. I'm going to post another video today, possibly on Mills. Um, email me at cornerbackpro at gmail.com. Ask for the one-on-ones mastery. That's where all the techniques are, and you see me demonstrating it and how to practice um, your man coverage. And we can go over zone um, on a private one-on-one -on -one session. It's up to you. Just email me, ask me. All right, fellas. Peace.